Create the skin I use on dws.ie in under 5 minutes. First of all we start with the default .NET Nuke skin. We'll now change that and apply the reactor skin supplied with the Nucleus package. In this case we'll use the uh, modern version of the skin and we'll apply the reactor common container. We now have the blank canvas, canvas from which we can start our design, but we also need to add the Nucleus module to the page. We put it in the side pane. There it is, and we just need to turn it on. Click Toggle Nucleus. Now if we click out on the right hand side, the canvas editor will open for us, allowing us to do some styling. We're going to add a background image. Now you can put your own images in the Nucleus uh, resources folder on your portal. We're saying we don't want the image repeated, and we're going to fix it at the top left hand corner of the screen. We'll now find out what colour it is so that we can apply a matching background colour. Adding a little padding to our page. In this case 30 pixels. And we'll increase the font size somewhat. 80%. Now it's hard to see the text there, so we do need a white background. So we'll select the page editor. Using our colour picker, we select white, click OK, and now we'll add some padding to this area. 10 pixels all around, and we give it a border at the top, none at the sides, and some at the bottom. Now we need to style our toolbar going to increase the border at the tops a little bit. And then we'll style the header. Just the logo area. We want to change from a black to a slightly less dark colour. And we'll increase the font size. Also force it all to lowercase. We'll change the background. We'll put in a background image. And we won't allow it to repeat, so we have just one instance. Now we've clicked on the nav bar, and the nav bar editor opens, so we'll change the colour. We've now got a grey bar all the way across. I'm not going to do anything to the content main area or the content footer. We'll go down into the main footer itself and we'd like to give it the same colour grey as the navbar. There we go. Now we want to hide a few elements from the skin. First thing we'll do is we'll turn off the language bar. We don't need it. see here that we can use help to give you some guidance on the way. And on this site we don't want searching. Just show you some of the other options available. This is an interesting one. This tells you what skin you're using as the parent of the skin you're setting up. It shows you the tab ID, and here you see the container we're using. And that's it.